hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel <clears throat> i'm carissa for those who are new and we are cash stuffing our december 14th paycheck alongside with some retro money that i had received if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check out my budgeting video i kind of i think i did a whole breakdown on where i'm getting all these numbers and why the amount that i'm stuffing is so high so let's start off with counting this money I don't have my calculator out and I probably should just because it's such a large amount. Let me go ahead and get my calculator. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50, 550. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, so 620, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So plus 45. So we are stuffing a total of $1,805, which is correct. It's what I have budgeted here. So let's go ahead and unstuff our wallet really quick. Um, as you guys know, all the money that I roll over for our unstuff from my wallet goes into my savings challenges. So groceries, we had 50, 60, $65 left over so we're going to just add that to the pile spending ten dollars and eating out had 15 coffee five dollars Actually, I'm going to take this $5 because off the top of my head, I know I owe my credit card this $5. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then miscellaneous is $5. So I haven't really planned what I'm going to do with the rollover money yet. So when I get to the savings challenge um, stuffing, then we'll figure that out there. All right, so let's go ahead and stuff our wallet for the week. Gas is getting 40 so two 20s. We're fast approaching um, the end of December, which means obviously Christmas, but also my last day of work for the next two years. And I feel like I keep talking about it, but it's like heavy on my mind. <laughs> um, groceries is getting 125. I guess I can use one of these folded bills already. Makes sense. So 5125, 125 in groceries. Spend. So spend, um, I budgeted $200. I have a whole breakdown for that because um, there's just a lot happening these next two weeks. And I just wanted to have enough spending money for that. So 20, I think they're getting, should be getting all 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120. 140, 160, 180, and 200. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we have $200 going into our spending. Eating out is getting 30. Coffee is getting ten dollars, which is two fives, so ten. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna replace my Keurig machine or if I'm just gonna buy coffee, and um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just enjoy going out for coffee in the morning um, as like something that I do for myself. We'll see. 
Um, Miss Elenius is getting five. Home is getting ten. I do have some laundry to do. Sorry, it has 20 in there now. So at some point, I need to get to the laundromat. And toiletries is also getting 10. So now it has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And then laundry is getting 15. Okay, so laundry now has 10, 20, 25, and 30. So that is it for the wallet. My wallet is really thick this um, this week. So this is going to take me until next week, Thursday. Because I get paid on Thursdays. Um, okay, now we're going to jump into our... Um, let's go to our short-term sinking funds. I need to get bookends or something so that I can hold my binders up all right so this okay i'm gonna put this five dollars in here and i'm going to cross off this coffee purchase because i owed myself back that money to my credit card Oop. okay sorry i just wanted to sort that out all right health is being skipped <sighs> cane is being skipped stock up is getting a hundred dollars and i think i wanted to put no okay i'm just gonna put a hundred dollars so 100 150 200 20 40 60 80 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 480. I wanted $500 in here. So next week when I do my budgeting video, I will just um, put 20 in here. Um... These are being skipped for now. Travel is getting 50. And if you did watch my budgeting video, I forgot to budget for travel. My bad, but I was able to go back and correct it. So now travel has 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 1000, 100, 200, 300, 450. So 1,450 is now in travel. And I'm really excited about this because I don't have to worry about dipping into money that I receive next year to pay for any trips because I've already pretty much saved for one trip here because I think $1,500 is pretty safe even though I have $1,450. But I definitely will get to $1,500 by the end of the year. Okay, so that is it for this binder. Okay. Next, we're going to go into our long-term savings binder. And starting off with savings, savings is going to get 20. So it has 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, 1010, 1030, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1110, 20, 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I think it's 11.45. Um, I'm a little torn. Normally, like when you start a new year, people start from scratch. But because of like my circumstances, I don't know if it's smart to start from scratch or just continue to just stuff this money. But I can do like an end of the year count so I know what I had saved for the year. I'm still deciding what I should do, if I should take everything out, put it in the bank, and start from scratch. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, guys. Help me out. So, new car is getting... New car is getting 200. So now, new car has... I'm going to need my calculator for this one. I have a feeling... So it has 1,500, 600, so 1,600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 500, so 2,100, uh, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, so plus 600, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, Right, 160, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Ah, oh, see, I made a mistake. Ah, I think it's 2960. Guys, I'm not going to count it again, but I think it's 2960. If it's incorrect, it's okay. Um, I will leave the correction on the screen. I'm really happy about that because I wanted 3000 by the end of the year. And if it is $29.60, then I only have to put $40 in here next week, which I definitely will be putting more because I'll have the money to put more. And I will hit my 3000 mark. But you know what? I'm going to probably just put the 40 just to hit the 3 and just keep like call it even. Kane's emergency was initially supposed to get 100 but because I forgot to stuff for travel, I had to split that amount. So Kane is going to get $50. And this is just his emergency for any um, vet visits or anything like that. So he has $70 in here. Um, and Future is getting 20 20, 30, 35, 40. I think I'm going to take this category out just because I don't really know what I have planned for future. Like, it's just kind of like a savings for anything that might come up. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, emergency, I'm doing a savings challenge for that. And then annual, we're just waiting to take bills um, for our annual subscriptions to be due and then I can take the money from there all right so wow <laughs> that is it for our wallet and our sinking funds this money that you see here is for my savings challenge video so if you guys are interested in see or like how I'm going to budget all this money then definitely check out the savings challenge video I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next week on another Bye.